गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक कंट्रोल्स ऑफ द एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक कंट्रोल्स सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द एक्सएमएल द लेआउट एक्सएमएल नाउ व्हेन यू गो ओवर हियर हियर आर थ्री ऑप्शंस here we are getting three options when you click over here you will get entire xml when you click on this icon you will get both xml and the design and here you are going to get the design only now all these controls are present you can just drag and drop the controls when you are going to create any layout first that is by default the constant layout so here we have to first click on the infer infer layout so this is already we have discussed in the first or second lecture so we have to first Const you have to make the constant as the infer constant. So let's talk the controls one by one. Here you will get uh, the options as a common text, button, gadget, layout, container, Google, and legacy. Now first we talk about the common. Now in the common you will get a text view, button, image view, recycler view, fragment, stored view, and switch. Now whenever you want to any kind of text view that is a label. you are just make the drag and drop so you just make the drag and drop so here is the text view that is label now suppose i want to make a text for this one when you select over here and when you go at this you will get a uh, the related text view so this is the control we have just drag and drop so when you click on the infer constraint okay the error will be removed automatically so this is the option when you just drag and drop suppose i again drag and drop any control suppose i want to drag and drop the next button you will get a missing constraint okay you just click on the infer the error will be removed so like this the error will be removed so just i have just drag and dropped this text view and this button i am going to remove this button first so i am going to talk about the first control that is a text view text view is nothing but it is a label so just click on it you will get all the properties related to text view over here now suppose i want this text view for the heading here you can write txt heading so this will be the id id by using which you are going to identify the text view now what the what the values you want now what the values you want you will be write over here so suppose i want to write over here as a login form so this will be the text applied to the text view so when you run the program So first, I'm going to check the Android manifest. This is the Android main activity. So the main activity should be, should run first. So I'm going to write the main activity. And suppose I'm going to run the program. So. when you run a program you will get output like this so just i'm going to run the program so this will be the text view so this is a label and these are the text box already we have seen this one so like this you can drag and drop the text view you can apply all the properties now let's check all the properties or the important properties one by one 
the id should be there so the id i can write over here so id i kept as it is so i can write the id as it is a label so i can write as a lbl lbl heading so i can add the heading and this is the text this is the wrap the content and the match the parent you can apply layout height and width you can apply the color uh, you can apply the background color foreground color also so all these properties are present over here when you click on the all attributes you will get all the attributes of this label so you can apply all the properties if you know the properties you can apply over there otherwise you can click on the edit text so suppose i'm using this uh, text view okay so here you can write as an android colon and you will get all the properties related to the text view or the label so it is a better to use the uh, uh, properties from here so just select the label you will get all the properties over here and from here you can apply the properties and get and you can check out what will be the reflection or what will be the output so this is the label control same for the button you can just drag and drop the button when you drag and drop the button you will get an error like this just click on the infer constraint the error will be solved so when you click on the button again you will get the properties what are the properties present along with the button so you can place the button id or the button text what the text it should display or what the foreground color you need what the background color you need what the background image you need okay whatever the properties are over here all these displayed and you can apply all these properties same for the image view when you just drag and drop the image view you have to give the image location so which image you want you can just select the image and click on the ok that image is applied over here so this is the image view so whenever in your application or in your app you want images so you can you can just drag and drop the image view and from the image view you have, you have to select the location where the image is and that particular image is applied over here that is src compact next recycler view fragment okay so we talk later on the recycler view now we talk about the fragment fragment view table view or table layout these are all associated with the layout so when you talk about the layout we are going to talk about this fragment also scroll view the same when you talk about the layouts we'll talk about the scroll view also and next switch this control is rarely used to switch the uh, screens so the the control is a switch next control these are the text now if there are particular text boxes you want for example uh, there is a text box but i want that text box for only to accept the integers or suppose i want a text i want a text box which is used to for the passwords so there are some special kind of text boxes or suppose i want to use a text box for the uh, email addresses or the postal addresses or the pin code so these are also these are the text boxes but they have different kind of properties so whenever you want a plain text boxes you can add it this plain text if whenever you want a text box for the password you can retry you can just drag and drop this password whenever you want a numeric password you can drag and drop over here so like this whatever the properties you want you can apply you can take that kind of text box if you want for a date if you want for a time for example suppose i want for a date just drag and drop the the control for the date or just drag and drop the control for the time and when you run when you run over here when you click on this you will get the pop up so all these controls related to the text box or variety of text box are present over here you can just drag and drop the controls and you can check out what will be the output the output will be same when you drag and drop a plain text that will be for the text boxes already we have seen this text box when you drag and drop this password the same text box will be there but it will it will take the input as in the asterisk form 
This will be the password, same with a numeric form. This will be a text box which is going to accept the email. This is for the phone number, this is for the postal address. So like this, you are getting a variety of text boxes. You, are just, you have to just drag and drop the text box and you have to see the properties. And all these properties related to that control are present over here. Just select that particular, particular control, you will get the text boxes over here. Now the first thing is that whenever you are going to drag and drop the controls, first we have to set the IDs because IDs are very important. By using that IDs, you are going to access these controls for the manipulations in the Java file. Next controls we are going to see that is buttons. Now whenever you are going to write the uh, applications from the uh, lab manuals, you are going to check all these controls also. Just we are going to talk about the overview of the controls. Next controls we are going to talk about the buttons. Now already you know the buttons. You have to just drag and drop again the image button for images. Again the chip groups, chip these are the rarely used. Again the check boxes, these are for the multiple inputs. So you have to just drag and drop and you, you have to apply uh, the text. Again radio button or radio button group then toggle button means you have to make the switch between the between the sections you can use the toggle button you can use the switch also so these are the see our floating action bar these are the rarely used so this was about the basic controls of the common text and buttons now in the lecture 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 we will see what are the uh, gadgets layout container and google okay so this for the mapping purpose we are going to use it so these are the controls we are going to see in the next lecture. Thank you.